Adam Morgan and I'm here with Right Advice. Today we're going to talk about problems with your sinks leaking underneath the pipes for the draining. Sometimes they get loose and they just need to be hand tightened up. And so I'm just going to show you real quick about that. It can save you a call to a plumber, save you some money, and it's something you just kind of need to periodically check on. They will get loose because of the different temperatures of water that's running through them and they expand. And so we're going to show you how to do that. And today we are being sponsored by Fine Art America. And this QR code will take you actually to my fine art profile. Not only am I a home improvement guy, but I'm also a photographer, artist. So if you're an interior designer, you can go out, you can find information uh, about the different artwork that's out there, and you can maybe use that in your next interior design remodel project. Get some local art and um, support me. So we just ask you to go out and check it out. You can also Google Morgan Carter Fine Art, and you should see Fine Art America in one of the uh, first search criteria. So go check it out. And now we're gonna get to showing you how to do this. Thanks. Okay, as you can see here, we have the pipe underneath the sink. And on this particular one, we're looking at the P-trap. And there's fittings here that connect these two pipes together and tighten it up. Now, you can see it's pretty large, these wings like on them. Makes it easy for you just by hand to just turn these. And I'm just, I'm loosening this one up just so I can show you. And you can see basically this upper pipe fits down into this pipe. You can see how I'm moving it. Goes down in it. And there's a little gasket here, a little kind of rubberized gasket, sort of clear. Some of them might be green in color. And you basically have to slide this fitting up over uh, the pipe that is going to be going into the pipe that had the threads on it that this was you know, originally came with. So you'd slide it up on here. Then you would slide this gasket. And you tend to want to have, you can see there's a thicker area here uh, on the pipe. You tend to want to have that pipe going down in there at least till it kind of bottoms out to the area or at least about an inch. So you would, you would push it up. That gasket would come in contact with the top of the threaded part. And you would basically just make sure that you're getting the threads on there right. You know, cross-threading them. And a lot of times the way you can do that is by just seating it on top and holding down firm and kind of going backwards until you feel it kind of snap and lock in and then start turning it clockwise or depending on the orientation of the pipe until you get it tight. And you should be able to just tighten it up by hand. It should just kind of feel a little snug and then maybe just kind of give it a little extra turn just make sure it's snug up and you'll see you have about three or more over here there's another one but three different ones here now each one of these over time can get loose that one's not that that bad this one on top was a little loose this one was actually probably the loosest here so you want to just tighten these up. We've got this other one here. You can see it's a little loose. So there, just kind of snugging it up. You just kind of want to check them all, make sure they're snug like that. They will get loose over time. Again, this plastic, as hot water runs through it, cold water can expand and contract. And if maybe you got a stopped up drain, you plunge it, the pressure of plunging that water in there can sometimes, you know, rattle the pipe and cause it to loosen up. So just Check these every once in a while. And if you have a situation, uh, I'll show you that on a new piece. Sometimes this pipe might just pull all the way out because the section here is, is really short because there isn't a lot of room for it just because of the nature of where the pipe is running and the angles it needs to be at. So just, um, I'm gonna show you that and uh, we're gonna move over to that part now. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna show you how these uh, pipes can sometimes pull apart. I'm showing you up against this wood floor just so that it really stands out and you can see maybe the detail. 
a lot of times what you'll have is you'll have this pipe is down in here and for whatever reason it gets pulled out it might be sitting like this under your sink all this other is still attached by other pipes so it's you know held in place but you've got it gapped out like this and of course it's going to leak so you can't just loosen this up and then try to shove it in there because there's a gasket in there and so what you need to do is you would unscrew this you would make sure you know that this is slid up onto the pipe that's going into the one with the threads and then you would make sure that this ring is fitted on here and you sometimes you have to you know find it it might have fallen down in this pipe or fallen out or it might even be stuck up in the ring usually what happens is it falls out or gets stuck down in here so you would take it and slip it and you can see how it's got an angle to it the thicker part of it you want to be away from the threading of the fitting because what this does is it will hit up against this flat compress this wedged shape into a wedged shape on the inside of this pipe that's going into the one with the threads and so just uh, make sure this is slid up depending on the pipe and the way it's constructed under the sink depends on how much of this pipe can go down in but you can see that it can go you know pretty far down in here until it bottoms out but it might be that it only goes about halfway because of the way it's situated under the sink it should have pretty close to about an inch and a lot of times the pipe will sag below but it has room to be kind of pushed back up and when you screw this all together it should hold it in place pretty pretty snug it might also help the angle that it needs for things to drain so you would insert this back down in here and you'll see that little gasket will kind of bottom into this lip that's what's going to give you the seal when you screw this back down so you just again you can go backwards you know until you feel it kind of seat to know that you're not cross threading and then while you're still holding it in place screw it clockwise or depending on the, you know how the pipe is it might be counterclockwise because it might be upside down but anyway and you would tighten that up so it's important that gasket gets back in there because that gasket has fallen out and maybe gotten down into the pipe not only will it maybe cause things to get stuck down in the pipe especially if it's at the bottom of a key trap um, it's just not going to seal here and it's going to still leak even though you've tightened uh, this fitting onto the threads good so make sure that's in place make sure it's up about an inch at least or as far as you can get it up with this pipe fitting down in and then slide it back down in and tighten it up and it should keep you from having any leaks and then if you run a lot of hot water depends on how hot your water heater is uh, set you may want to um, check these because running a lot of hot water and then cold water hot water can like I said loosen these up so maybe just every weekend just kind of reach under there and go mm, oh yeah that's tight okay and that'll prevent you from having you know a catastrophic leak under there that you don't really realize until later and everything underneath the sink has been um, ruined or the shelving at the bottom of the sink has gotten moldy and rotted out messes up the rest of your cabinets so just check those every once in a while keep them tight and that should prevent you from having some problems. So I hope that's some help, and we'll see you next time on Right Advice.